Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may we rise as we welcome the Governor of River State, His Excellency Sir Timnalai Fubara, Grand Seven Star of River State, and his wife, Her Excellency Lady Valerie Sim Fubara, accompanied by the immediate past Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesum Ezewawike, C O N. GSSRS Life Venture and his wife, Her Excellency Honorable Justice and Verity Suzette Yesomwike DSSRS. The Vice Pastor Oga of Chapel for the opening prayers. Let us pray. And our Father, we thank you for this privilege we have to celebrate your goodness and your faithfulness towards as a people as a state thank you lord for the ceremonies today thank you for what you are doing for river state we are asking that river state will move to higher heights in jesus name Amen. we commit this government unto you asking for the spirit of wisdom knowledge and understanding and above all, that your hand will rest upon them for good. Bless this event tonight and take the glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Distinguished Senator John Umbata, please. His Excellency, the former governor. Take a seat on the high table, sir. Thank you. His Excellency, Sir Siminalai Fubara, Grand Service Star, River State, Governor of River State. And his dear wife, Lady Valerie Sim Fubara. High Excellency Professor Mrs. Ngozi Ma Odo, DSSRS, Deputy Governor of River State. His Excellency Yesum Ezewawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service of River State Live Venture. The doing of infrastructure in Nigeria. Former Governor of River State and his dear wife, Justice Eberechi Suzette Yeson Wike, DSSRS. His Excellency, Sir Dr. Peter Odili, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, former Governor of River State, and his wife, Justice Mary Odili, JSC Retired, CFR, DSSRS, Chairman Body of Ventures. <laughs> Madam Belu Mohamed Adoke, CFR, SAN, GSSRS, former Attorney General of the Federation. His Excellency Ayo. Peter the Rock Fayoshe, GSSRS, former governor of Ekiti State. <laughs> His Excellency Sir GTG Toby, DSSRS, former deputy governor of River State, and his dear wife, Dame Christy Toby, DSSRS. <laughs> Distinguished senators, and members of the National Assembly here present, Right Honorable Ikunye Owajibani, DSSRS Speaker, River State House of Assembly, and his dear wife. <laughs> My Lord Honorable Justice Simeon Chibu Zahmadi, DSSRS Chief Judge of River State, and his dear wife, and the brother judges, the Zonal Vice Chairman, South South of the PDP, 
Chief Dan Obi, DSSRS. State Chairman of the PDP, Ambassador Desmond Akawa. Your Royal Majesties and Highnesses that are here present. The Chairman Rivers Elders Forum, Chief Edna Labraba, and other party elders present. Revered clergymen, special recognition for Right Reverend Dr. Timothy. Revered clergymen present here, permanent secretaries, heads of government agencies, service commanders, members of the diplomatic corps, captains of industry, elder statesmen, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My with due humility and honor, welcome you all to this post-inauguration dinner, signaling the beginning of a new era in the annals of the river state of Nigeria. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, just a few hours ago, there was a change of button. That change of button has heralded a new dawn, and the tear robber governor of River State, in his inaugural address titled Together, let's consolidate the new River State, said, and I quote him, Therefore, as we undertake our responsibilities, we promise to stay the course, commit to cooperative governance and expand opportunities for everyone. The wishes of our people for a happy life are our mission in politics. Your Excellencies, that momentous occasion and this speech points to the fact that truly River State is on the path of rapid development to consolidate the new river's vision. My now, to kickstart this ceremony, invite for his welcome address, Dr. Tami Nweneke Danagogo, Chairman, 2023 Inauguration Committee. Please put your hands together for him. Excellency, the Governor of River State, Sir Siminalae Fobra, Grand Service Star of River State, Our Excellency, the wife of the Governor, Lady Valerie Fobra, Our former governor and our leader, Chief Barrister Nyeson Ezenwo Wike, CON, GSSROS, and Life Bencher, who is here with his amiable and erudite wife, the Honorable Justice Suzette Yeson Wike, our father also and former governor, Sir Dr. Peter Odili, C-O-N, who is also here with his erudite and amiable wife, the Honorable Justice Mary Odili, J.S.C., with other former governors in our midst, our Deputy Governor, Professor Mrs. Our Excellency, Professor Mrs. Ngozi Odo, the Right Honorable the Speaker of River State House of Assembly and his wife, 
And Lord, the chief judge of River State and his wife and all your brother judges, all former deputy governors, senators, my lords, spiritual and temporal, your royal majesties, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I please crave your kind indulgence to rest on the protocols already established. On behalf of our brand new governor and the inauguration committee, let me welcome your excellencies and all our distinguished guests to this inaugural state banquet, marking the beginning of yet a new era in the governance of our dear state. Let me use this opportunity to thank all of you for following the leading of our former governor and our leader all this while, and for voting massively for our new governor, and of course for taking part in all the activities we lined up for the inauguration, which culminated in the swearing-in earlier in the day. For those of us here, we are very confident that we are leaving River State and Rivers people in very good and competent hands in the person of Sir Siminalae Fubra, Grand Service Star of River State. I have been opportuned to work closely with him in the Wiki administration. And I can tell you, without any equivocation, that he has innate excellent qualities that will make him succeed anywhere he finds himself. He is very humble, simple, honest, hardworking, meticulous, and generous. I believe that these are the qualities that persuaded our leader and our former governor to support him. And that also made it easy for all of us to follow suit in, in supporting him. I believe that by the grace of God, these qualities, coupled with his long experience and tutelage working in the engine room of the WK administration, he certainly will excel. Uh, I trust that River State will witness yet more years of excellent and transformational leadership as you've been witnessing before. On this note, I want to most humbly and happily welcome you all to this inaugural state banquet. You are welcome. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. In line with the celebration, may I invite to entertain us with their sonorous voice, the Government House Choir. Please, can we put our hands together for them?
together for the angelic voices of the Government House Choir. Thank you so much. May I now invite to give us a command performance the award-winning River State Council of Arts and Culture. Please, can we put our hands together for them? Thank you so much. Democracy. Democracy. The road to good governance and political stability. Under one umbrella, the people come together and move for a better tomorrow.
for us? Yes. Please, let's put our hands together for them. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Lagos, we have the producer of Akpororo and Akpororo. May I invite the comedian to crack our ribs? Akpororo! Please, let's put our hands together for him. Uh, good evening, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Celeste. Please, can you put your hands together for yourself, please? Can you clap for yourself? Yeah, thank you. You know, say when it all reach matter like this, everybody go package. They call me now. People, you do like say they don't even know me, which I understand. But if you know, say, God, don't try for your life. I beg clap for yourself. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. To our, to our new, our tier rubber governor, 
We celebrate you, sir. And I want to thank you for inviting me. I'm here to make you laugh. My job here is to make you laugh. In case I crack joke and you don't laugh, it's not that I'm not funny. But it's just that your problem is bigger than my ability. Uh, you know the way the matter be, so not be giddy giddy matter. Yes, I went to an event in Worry. May I be Worry Pekin? I go event for Worry. As we did the event, church event, he not say one boy look me. He say, Akororo, you will walk. I don't understand what he mean by you will walk. Now when the program finish, as I put one from my pocket, my wallet dollars. True, true, I walk. I trek from the event. I trek go out. Another thing why they tell people why I notice what will they do? Because I see so many, as we enter government house, I see so many police for year. I like police where well, where. Well. And I just have been greet them. This side don't, they can't mind. Now let us stay. Our police that side, especially for Coco, we are me at the state for that Lagos. Those are our police, I don't understand them. I don't know why they do like that. Police stand or checkpoints, what they are, they tell my friend. I say, see, if I run past this checkpoint now, all these police go run follow me. Is that they lie? I said, no joke, if I run past, they go run follow me. Why would they argue, you not say, I run past? Yeah! As I pass. In not reach 30 seconds when I look my back. Now DPO, they my back. DPO, whole trust that they run, follow me for back. I see they run. In not a DPO overtake me. I run reach one place. Now I stop. I call the Brit. As I the Brit, now DPO look me. He said, young man, why are you running? Now I tell him, I say, I just feel like to run. DPO say, you say, waiting. As I feel like to run. Now DPO say, you are under arrest. I say, for what? He said, for illegal running. Since you didn't run any away, you not get sense. Coco stay cell. Worry people where they here. Area. Men answer me now. Area. Uh, I know. Everybody go one package. Now, normal. You know, they get the way you go laugh. They go to say you. They go to say you poor for this kind of place. So everybody must package. <laughs> not be today we they do this thing. I remember my papa. <laughs> Look your neighbor say, whatever you do in this life, please have money. I better tell your neighbor, say whatever you do, have money. Yes, the main reason I be this, my papa matter not be play. Poverty won't kill us. My papa go go buy monkey, who not get money, go buy monkey. Monkey go stay with us for seven years. We not know say the monkey that the year robo. Now what December, we not get money to buy fowl. My papa go say that the monkey we go key. He not know say the monkey they hear the robot where they speak. My papa call, call monkey enter parlor. As the monkey enter parlor, my papa they speak robot. He said, Look away, look away, block obone. Block obone me block here. Fesh ro block obone, block here. Genero block obone. Akororo block obone. All of us don't block. But we not know say one window they open. Now the monkey jump, go the window. The monkey look my papa, now the monkey laugh. Now monkey say, Oh sorry. You say look away, block obone. Fejiro, Blakobone. Ogenero, Blakobone. Me, I go pass over there. Now we do not the monkey pass go. That December, we not see anything shop. I like to talk about worry because now where I come from. Now only worry now police go, go arrest armed robber. They drive their e loss go. As they pack the e loss they enter, go arrest armed robber. As they come out, they don't thief their e loss Police call the house people in the area. I said, Madam Office, you get one motor where we park here. You see anybody where can I? Ah, the woman said, hey. Now worry, boys, so they use truck. They carry the motor. They go. <laughs> we not correct people because our land is green. See the country now, things they happen and the things sweet. Eight years. From today now, we go start to the count. Another four years. Now, let me call our new governor. I said, now, Tier Robert Governor. If you know you are happy and you know, say you are happy to celebrate our new governor, please put your hands together for him. Amen. <laughs> yes, I live with this. Our former governor, I get opportunity to follow and day one program for church. Now, that they now notice, say, if rich men that they pray, they're not they shout. Shh. <laughs> 
Now only poor men there shall be shout. Our former governor. Huh. You know our, you know the way they talk. I see they pray. I know who they hear waiting they talk. Wait till they hear now. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for what you have been doing. Father, I want to bless you for the alert. When I hear alert, I don't say money don't enter. That one are rich people. They know they shout. They know they shout. But I don't know why poor people, if we never open leg, hold our waist, our body not the corner. If poor man won't pray here, the first thing they do now, I go raise his head, go like this. I don't know who, who offend them. I know that's the way they pay me. So I will go to church. Especially all this money mass for Catholic church. Some, some people will come to church, you not go brush. And now you go want to greet people. And you don't forget, say your mouth go to smear. You go walk out with me, people, brother, good money. See, you get the way your mouth go strong. Sometimes you need to go car wash, make them wash them. Yes, because we need to wait, Pastor. I don't know who sent them. He just said, Talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God love you. Who they near me, mouth, they smear, die. The guy just looked at me and said, God love you. I sweat. I looked at the guy and said, My brother, novice, you drink suck away juice. Why your mouth they smell like this? The guy said, Now, so we see him. He not said, The man of God said, Let us pray. Wait till the prayer point. He gets some prayer where they favor poor people. And that time I not get money. Pastor raised prayer point. He said, We are going to pray. Wait till the prayer point. Oh God, the house that I'm living in now has a turnout. I will buy the house. You know, that kind of prayer, they favor poor people. Now, so I hope who let they pray, Father, the house that I'm living in now, I will buy the house. I will buy the house. I will buy. I will, as I they shout, I will buy. I will buy. I don't know, say my landlord, they my back. My landlord just touched me. As you come and score pack your load. Before God go give you money, may you buy my house. <laughs> come, come up for this comfort. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, all of us get time because our masquerade already. As I see masquerade, he let body switch me. He get on masquerade one time where they dance. Then they shoot them with native gun. Those native gun, they go cocker. Baka. Bah. The masquerade go do like this. Uh, they shoot them again. Bah. You know, say, oh, you bought people. Nothing consign them with. You carry masquerade, all you do, Juju. You not consign them. One of you bought my day, they look where they shoot the masquerade. Now, what can go beat people where they shoot them? He say, but seriously, I saw you shooting this masquerade. And the bullet is not penetrating. That guy said, yes. If we shoot him, he will do, the bullet will not enter. Now the white man said, hold on. You mean if I shoot this masquerade, the bullet will not penetrate? They say, yes. White man just go a car. Open boot. Bring that better gun. You know this gun where you go just press button. All it's going to go do. You know. As the white man carry gun, they come when the cock can crack, crack. The masquerade now hear the sound. He notice say not be the native gun whether they use because that one sound now eh eh. But he hear crack, crack. I shock when the masquerade shout say tell and say now human being I there. Now go keep me away for. <laughs> I remain a quarter room. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please let's put our hands together one more time for foreign room. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Grand Bonny Kingdom, a majestic masquerade. Let's put our hands together for Owu Asara Cultural Group.
together. For the Owasara Masquerade, this masquerade is always displayed for royalty. for his rhythmic dancers. Thank you so much. This is Blaze the Bunny Culture. Now let's welcome the women known as the Asati. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please let's put our hands together for the Owatara of Grand Bonnie Kingdom. May I now invite to entertain us the great famous international dancers. Please put your hands together for them. Much. Great famous international dancers, thank you. Please let's put our hands together for them. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, yet again we have another masquerade dance. This time, all the way from Okrika, may we put our hands together for the Owu Ama.
Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please let's put our hands together for Owama of Okrika. May I now invite someone who has decided that he's going to make people laugh forever. Please put your hands together for a comedian that calls himself Forever. Your Excellency, Sir Similana Yufubara, um, congratulations. Please, a round of applause for our new governor. Please, a round of applause. A round of applause. And um, sir, when I was coming in, I saw what he wrote, as, and I love it. And I think that's what Nigeria needs, consolidation and continuity. Meaning that it's going to continue from where our former governor stopped. Please, a round of applause for our former governor, Yesom Wiki. He was governor for eight years, leading a state as big as River State. I went to check the population of River State online. Over 10 million. Sir, you tried. We celebrate you, sir. I've been married for seven years to one wife. The marriage is hard. So for a man to lead a state of over 10 million people, he tried. please, once again, a round of applause. The man that lied to me to get married, I'm looking for him because I want to arrest him. He said, forever, when you marry, be in charge. Seven years have passed, I'm not in charge. The only thing I'm in charge of is my charger. And that is where my wife allows me to use it. Before I got married, I was an Arsenal fan. As I talked to you, I saw born Nickelodeon. How I started watching z -word, I don't know. But it's my wife that calls me, they've started to. Some people don't understand that this marriage is that one of my friends got married. After two weeks of marriage, he said, forever, marriage is sweet. I said, don't rush. You are not married yet, you are doing it. He said, does not understand. I said, my brother, I cannot explain it. One month later, sir, he called me around 1 a.m. I said, my brother, what is the problem? He said, how did you know? I said, because no man calls another man by this time to gist. We call to complain. Because when you see a married man and his wife and you ask him how is marriage, in front of his wife, he will tell you marriage is sweet. Meet the man alone and ask him how is marriage. Yeah, my brother. Now God do. <laughs> so when he called my around one, I said, my brother, what is the problem? He said, the problem is that he does not know what the problem is. I said, now you are married. I said, rewind, what happened? He said, the wife told him that she's not happy with him. He now said he is sorry, thinking that the matter had finished. The wife now asked him the golden question. What exactly are you sorry for? I said, my brother, don't tell me you said I don't know. He said, that's why I said. I said, your marriage has scattered. He said, forever, what do I do? I said, I don't know. I'm six years in marriage. Call your father that is 40 years in marriage. He might have what to tell you. He called his father. The father said, what is the problem? He narrated the whole situation to the father. For the first time in his life, his father called him my brother. The father said, Daddy, you are calling my brother. I say, my brother, you are a man like me. You have wife, I have wife. You will face your family, I will face my family. As I'm talking to you, man, your mother were quarreling, so you will face your God, I will face my God. Whoever God answers first is what you tell us to do. Me and you are in the same WhatsApp group. Leave me alone. I've trained you to be a man. Be your man. In the morning, the guy now called me. Say forever, what is wrong with that question? I say, oh God, in marriage, there are certain questions that does not have answer. You leave it for God to answer. Question number one, your wife asks you, my husband, what will you eat? I cook rice. <laughs> if you have two heads, then you want to eat beans. <laughs> if you're married, don't scatter. And I'm... Question number two, your wife asks you, what number am I in your life? I say, don't you ever say number one. He say, why? He say, because the way women reason, she can say, so if I'm number one, there can be number two in Port Harcourt. He says, so what do I say? Tell your wife, you are my Lord and personal Savior. Without you, God bless you, my name is forever. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Please let's put our hands together for forever, the comedian. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for some goodwill messages. May I invite to give a goodwill message a former Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in River State, a former Chairman Body of Benches, Sir OCJ Okocha, OFR, SAN, DSSRS, JP.
Your Excellency. Your Excellency, Sir Simini Alai Fubara, Governor of River States and your amiable wife. Your Excellency, Nyeso Mezumawike, immediate past Governor of River States and your amiable wife. Your Excellency, the former Governor of River States, Sir Dr. Peter Odili, and your amiable wife, my Chairman, Your Excellency, Honorable Justice Mary Peter Odili. Your Excellency, my Lords, respected chiefs and traditional rulers, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me first say for myself and on behalf of all of us and all the good people of River State, hearty congratulations to our new governor on your successful inauguration today and to your wife, of course, and to your children. We are all very happy. We are all very happy. And what we saw today was a glorious transition from one administration to yours. And I have to say, you are a very, very lucky man. This did not happen in 2015. In fact, we had to borrow a vehicle that will enable the governor then being installed to inspect the police parade. There was no handover notes. There was no threats that let me see how he will govern because there is no money left in the treasury. But here you are proper handover, proper transition from the outgone to the income. You are very lucky. You are very lucky. And I was, I was very happy when you said, and the Secretary to the State Government has just reeled off some excerpts from your speech that this is an administration of consolidation of the new reverse vision. Please stick to that and you will not go wrong. I was also very happy that you tapped into the sermon of the Archbishop of the Niger Delta province preached just yesterday when he advised you, don't allow those who will come through the window to come. In your address at the stadium, you said, you will keep open doors. People should come through the door. Nobody should come through the window. Please keep to that. Many try to come through the window. And they will come and give you advice which I consider may not be helpful to you. I'm happy that you have the experience. I'm happy that you have a deputy governor who has the experience. I'm happy that you have your distinguished predecessors in office through whom you can synthesize and distill the kind of advice you will get, particularly from those who come through the window. Keep the windows shut. Let everybody come in, come through the front door, and you will be the happier for it. You know, Your Excellency, I want to say that we are all happy. And I can only wish you every success in office. 
And may God grant you health. May God grant you wisdom. May God grant you strength to enable you to fulfill the duties of your high office. I thank you all for listening, and may God bless you. Too. Thank you very much, sir. To give his goodwill message, may I respectfully invite a former governor of River State, His Excellency Sir Dr. Peter Otunaya Orderly, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State. Your Excellency, our brand new governor, young, handsome, unassuming, quiet, deep, Sim Fubara. And your regal wife, our first lady. The Lion of River State, the immediate past governor. And our beloved wife of our immediate past governor, Justice Eberi. My dear wife, Mary Peter Odili. The other excellencies here, the new deputy governor of River State, our own Professor Ngozi Odu. my deputy and his beautiful wife, Gabriel Toby and Christy. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, asking me to make a goodwill message after the former president of the Nigerian Bar Association clearly is a setup. He has lived his life speaking, addressing, winning cases. I've spent most of my life listening to patients and writing prescriptions. You can see that somebody has conspired to set me up. But God will not allow them. We've gathered this evening to celebrate a miracle, one that has never happened in Nigerian politics. Our royal fathers will bear me out. Two elections, one following the other. The first our indefatigable former governor. In his political wisdom, guided our people in a direction that defied logic in the minds of many people. And displayed his political sagacity People couldn't understand, but because of the trust our people have in him. 
we all queued up, followed him, and today, the direction he led us is now in charge of Asa Rock. The following election, a few weeks after, he brought us back to where we belong. And Fubara emerged as our governor. In what, in what politicians can describe as the paradox of politics. First election, a different party. Second election, the real original party. Where else has this happened in Nigeria? Good can only produce good. A tiger cannot produce anything else except a tiger. Your Excellency, our governor, you are God's choice for our people. The way God guided your predecessor, God does not start and stop halfway. That way, God is going to guide you to take River State to the next level. The rivers train for irreversible progress was started by our governor, Nyesom, is the one we came. And he didn't stop that train. He kept it running, jumped out of the seat. Fubara has jumped in. That train will move to God's destination for our people. So we congratulate you. All we will pray and request you to do is to put God first in all your thoughts, words, and actions. Once you have God as the center of your government, there's only one destination. Success. 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 May God bless you all. And thank you for that. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to appeal to us to give the former Golden Governor of Nigeria another round of applause. <laughs> My now, with due respect, invite the former Governor of Ekiti State, His Excellency Peter de Rock Ayo Fayoshe for a brief remark. Please put your hands together for him. Your Excellency, Governor River State, permit me to stand on already established protocol because of time. But I still have to remind my brother, the former governor of River State, His Excellency Yesom Wiki. I told him this morning, I will come very early so that we can go back to the Former Governor's Forum. <laughs> he abused me and I said, we will wait until they take out of office. So I'll be able to reply. So if you reply me, I can go to court. Because before now, nobody can take you to court. But now, I can take you to court. <laughs> Let me congratulate you 
for the uncommon privilege of God. Winning from all sides, irrespective of the magnitude of the battle. The Lord gave you victory from all sides. I used to be a tough man. I used to be until I met you and realized that uh, troublemaker get level. <clears throat> because somebody will know the tire and say he will fight you. You have to find a solution to your problem. So I made up my mind. It is better to be with you than to be against you. A lot of us here, we don't know when to stop and align yourself. The Englishman says, if you can't beat them, you join them. It's a very good advice. Me, I join you. I'm with you. And that will be the basis of my advice for the, for the new governor. The last four years was rather a tough experience of my life because I didn't have a successor. At midnight, five minutes to, to midnight, when I was supposed to leave office, AFCC surrounded my house. I look up, look down, who should I call? Because they would have made announcements and embarrassed you. I called Governor Wiki. I said, Governor Wiki, please find more to make it come, bulletproof. And before you know it, he brought vehicles. And they took me away out of the government house. Nobody knew where I was. And he kept me in his lodge, in his bedroom. The EFCC were looking for me. Very early in the morning, they've surrounded my house very early again. My brother came through the back, carried me inside the vehicle. They were waiting, my enemies were waiting for me. I was already there. And I had my vest on, EFCC. I am here. They wouldn't have allowed me to wear that T-shirt if it didn't come for me. It saved me the undue and unnecessary embarrassment. So I appeared before EFCC a hero, despite my challenge. While I came in, I said, our leader, I want to congratulate you. It wouldn't have been more wonderful, honorable for a man, more than a time like this in your life. <clears throat> give this, whether you like it or not, give it to Wiki. Whether you like it or not, he has set a pace. Anybody that tries to reverse that pace will mess himself up. He has placed this man in a position till eternity as long as he lived. Nobody can rubbish him. He came, he saw, and he conquered. And bestowed honor Unto whom honor is due. Let me tell you today, Governor Wiki and Governor Fobra, this plane you want to start flying now. I flew them, I flew that plane before you by the grace of this man. This plane, yeah, tomorrow now you enter, His Excellency is coming. I flew that plane from Akure, 7 p.m. I'm in Portacourt. Mommy is a witness. They will carry me very early. That uh, your former governor, um, before Governor Wiki, that governor, um, <laughs> remind me now, <laughs> eh? uh, Governor Mechi, <laughs> when I come to this water court, there used to be one guest house in front of this government house. That's where I normally stay. It is that Governor Mechi that normally takes me to the club when I go to enjoy and bring me back because Oga would be asleep that time. We just go. That time is one. Help us. Help us tell Oga. I want to be governor. They should not give it to another person. So that he can become governor. Or regrettably, 
Regrettably, the eight years was years of humiliation for this man. God brought you back to clothe this man in linen. Your successor, <laughs> Sir Sim Fubra, you must clothe this man in garment of honor. <laughs> For me to be governor of Ekiti, I suffered. I suffered. In the course of the governorship, I was removed. I was removed as governor. I want to say to you, sir, you came in with the hands of God. You are a miracle governor. Today, you are governor of River State. By the grace of this gentle, old, responsible father of democracy in this state and his son, is on wiki. My brother, the day your eyes begin to see, you will miss road. Close your eyes completely. Maybe if I have a godfather, I won't have problem. <laughs> Maybe if I have a godfather like our father here and wiki, I will not have problem. I didn't have one. They oppressed me. They showed me pepper. The moment your eyes begin to see in this government, you will have problem. Oh. Close your eyes. Those windows, if you can close them, close it. For you to have eternal peace in your, I don't know, but let me say your eight years. The way you will use the eight years is in your hand. When you don't have a successor, it's a problem. But God has brought this man a peace, and deserve peace at the end of his tenure. Put your heart. Those windows, I listened to your program. They did a delay relay of your program today. I listened to your speech. I listened from beginning to the end. That window, good bulletproof, oh. Bulletproof. First, you know, they hear the thing where they inside, oh. Adam and Eve, the very day Adam began to rationalize God's word. Adam, the very day he rationalized God's word, Adam realized, I am now a man with a wife. He entered God out. He entered trouble. When you open your eyes like this, see your guy. If you don't see him, you see this Baba. Your enemies cannot prosper here. They can't have a way. So my counsel to you, because I am an experienced young man, I'm not too old though, but I'm an experienced young man that has gone through so many troubles. If not for God, politically, and this week, I will have more than enough problems. He stood by me, he assisted me, he defeated my enemies in my own eyes for me. Sir, may God help you, Your Excellency. My counsel is to you. God will help you. Don't see more than what you are supposed to see. The moment you want to see more than you, you are supposed to see, you begin to see spirit. Oh. I know we go. Oh. I know we go. Oh. Now, if he say he will fight you, it's either you surrender or you look for that trouble to the end. God will not find you wicked problem. Oh. He has found you wicked favor. Remain in God's favor and wicked favor. God bless you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think His Excellency, the former governor of the State, did not disappoint anyone. Can we put our hands together for him, please? <laughs> but the takeaways from his witty remarks is that His Excellency, Yeso Mezo Wawike, is a dependable ally. 
and we should put our hands together for him. We're well, moving on with the program, the excellencies and distinguished ladies and gentlemen are uh, to propose toast. Um, first, to propose a toast tonight to mark this historic inauguration banquet is a good friend of River State, a super ally of His Excellency Yeso Meza Wawike. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my now with due respect, invite and Sunday or no for the toast to the River State Government. Yeah, thank you very much. Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, there are states and there are states. As Governor Wike would always say, there are states that begin with a big S and states that begin with a small s. Undoubtedly, River State is a state that begins with a big S. It belongs to the top echelon, the very top echelon of states, the A-list of states the highest bracket of states, states that have maximum political and economic impact on not just Nigeria, but even the world, in its history, in its politics, in its culture, in the dizzying differentials of its peoples, though seemingly different, but bound together in unity under a common banner of prosperity and good leadership and love. A state with huge quality in men and material resources. A state so abundantly blessed that all inside and outside can see it. A cornerstone in Nigerian politics and economics. Without sounding patronizing, Governor Wike, you have transported River State to a whole new level of development and respect. River State, under your tenure, became a mecca of sorts for economic players and political players alike. Many people are whispering inside and outside of River State. Some who are bold enough are saying it loudly. Would Governor Sim Fubara be able to continue in this tradition of real development and prosperity? Speaking from an inside out perspective, I want to say yes. Fubara is a befitting graduate of the Wiki postgraduate school of political economy. <laughs> Governor Fubara may be self-effacing, but he's very deliberate. He's very intense. He's very proactive. He's very efficient. He's very effective. He understands the dynamics and the mechanics of service delivery in a pluralistic society like River State. It is on this note of optimism and aligning myself squarely with that great American hero called Colin Powell, who once said, and I quote, that perpetual optimism is a force multiplier that I'll most respectfully request that we rise to toast to this great state of rivers. If your glasses are charged, hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. To a greater river state. Yes.
to one what real estate, the... to one success. Yeah, I see the children crying. One love. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to propose a toast to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my invite Chief Adokie Amesemaka, MON, DSSRS, the Chief Justice of Nigerian Football. Put your hands together for him. Your Excellency, Sir Simini Layi Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State and Governor of River State, and your beautiful wife, Lady Valerie Fubara. Let me quickly say something. All the distinguished ladies here are so beautiful. That tells us something. Our leaders, they see road. Uh, that's why then they lead well. Congratulations. Your Excellency, Professor Mrs. Ngozima Odu, Distinguished Service Star of River State, Deputy Governor of River State. Uh, it, it, it's actually very difficult. Uh, I had a lot of difficulty in not starting with uh, His Excellency Yesom is the one wiki, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand, Grand Service of River State Life Venture, Immediate Past Governor. Honestly, that's difficult to say. Immediate past governor of River State. Your Excellency and your amazing wife, I salute you. Your Excellency, the father of River's politics, as acknowledged, Sir Dr. Peter Odele, C-O-N, Grand Service Star of River State, before before Governor of River State, and your amiable wife, Her Excellency, Honorable Justice Retired, Mary Odeli, Distinguished Service Star of River State. Please, well, we have... Uh, Oh, he's, he's just left. Let me nevertheless acknowledge the presence of uh, His Excellency, Ayo Fayose, one time governor of Ekiti State. Please let me at this point seek your indulgence. I was told I had just a few minutes to do this. And happily, I want to note that uh, the entire state is aware of the presence of the distinguished personalities here. So let me at this juncture say, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this privilege to toast the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But before I do that, Your Excellency, Sir Siminilai Fubara, Grand Service of River State and Governor of River State, 
Hearty congratulations. Hearty congratulations. That also goes to not only your wife, but Her Excellency, Professor Mrs. Ngozi Uma Odu, Distinguished Service of River State, Deputy Governor of River State. Sir, you have occupied giant shoes, giant, giant shoes. But as has been said over and over again, you are up to the task. But just know that you have a mentor. Listen to him, and you won't go wrong. But I should not only congratulate our own, I should also congratulate His Excellency Bola Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the Vice President, Al Haji Kashim Shatima, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why am I acknowledging them? I'm aware that uh, it may be an unprecedented uh, act, but we have an unprecedented circumstance. We've experienced an unprecedented circumstance and development. For the first time in the history of Nigeria, as far as I can recall, since independence, we have a situation where rival political parties have found a way to collaborate and synergize in the interest, remarkably, in the interest not only of the country, but of the seemingly smaller party. Party not in politics, but between the two forces. You have the federal government and the state government. The state government has enabled the federal government, which, has, which belongs to a different political party, but the federal government has acknowledged the capacity of the state government. And I thank you, sir. Your Excellency, Yesom Ezemo Wike, CON GSSRS, Life Venture, immediate past governor of River State for this. River State can no longer be taken for granted. Thanks to you, sir. I remember, I recall, that as a very young man, a very adventurous young man, I was privileged to play football for my country. I did it with joy. I knew that it took a lot of effort from me but I was very happy to do it. And the federal government, too, acknowledged that and honored me, for which I remain eternally grateful. But the moment, the moment the federal government thought that it could take me for granted, I withdrew. That is the pride of the reverse man. And that is what our dear immediate past governor his Excellency Yenson Wike has displayed. You cannot, henceforth, no party, nobody, political or otherwise, can take River State for granted. And I think for that, our dear immediate past governor deserves a round of applause. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Republic of Nigeria and its confederating 36 states and the federal capital, Abuja, have a lot to learn from River State. Happily, 
we have set the stage for atypical, unusual, atypical collaboration in the interest, in the interest of River State. I think it's significant to highlight and stress this fact in the interest of River State. That collaboration should not only be limited to River State. I advise the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Federal Government, not to limit it to River State. Take a cue from River State. River State has an exemplary relationship with each and every one of the local governments here. That is one reason why we've been able to achieve such tremendous success in governance. The federal government can also learn, borrow a leaf from River State in the context of synergy of the arms of government. We have the executive, we have the legislature, we have the judiciary. Many who do not know why the immediate past governor succeeded so tremendously should be reminded that he was able, in his political sagacity, as described by one of our leaders here, to forge that relationship that allowed him to govern the state without unnecessary distraction. And you know, the most intense distraction is not the one that comes from outside. The most intense and destructive destruction is the one from within. So the federal government will do well to borrow a leaf from River State government. Finally, let us please all rise charge our glasses and three happy cheers to the Federal Republic of Nigeria hip 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 Man to man, it's so dangerous. Yes, I know. Gentlemen, it is with great pleasure, due humility, I now respectfully invite His Excellency Sir Siminalai Fubara, Grand Service Tower of River State, Governor of River State, to deliver a speech at this inauguration banquet. Please put your hands together for him. Excellency, my wife, Lady Valerie Sim Fubara.
His Excellency Mayoga. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I have never called him His Excellency. I call him Mayoga. Because Oga is bigger and deeper. Excellency can be just to please you, but the Oga has a deeper meaning if you're calling it with the sense of Oga. So I maintain my Oga is Excellency. <laughs> and your dear wife, our Pafanda is not here, but his wife is here. His wife can also take the greetings. My Deputy Governor, Her Excellency, Professor Mr. Zungazi Yodo, former Deputy Governor, my brother and father, Sir Gabriel Toby and your wife, the Chief Judge and uh, your wife, the Speaker, Riverside House Assembly, Vice Chairman, South South, Leader of our state and PDP Forum, Elders Forum, Chief Fedi Anabrava, Senator Mbata, former Deputy Speaker, right the Honorable, uh, right the right the Honorable Uchibudan Muchi. The formal legal, the formal uh, attorney general of the state, Adoki, and uh, my colleague, but unfortunately he didn't make it, Senator Sandiano. <laughs> traditional rulers that are here, leaders of the state, the state party chairman. The list is so long. You know, I'm just starting the job today. <laughs> so just, just, just bear with me. As we progress, I will learn on the job. Eh? <laughs> Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start with one song. Uh, I'm not a good singer, but it has to do with that if you want to praise God, if, you, if you're using a sand, sand will not satisfy him. If you're using a drum, it will not satisfy him. If you are using a bam bam, bam bam will also not satisfy him. But God has a way of satisfaction. I don't know who, do you know the song? Please, I like it. Can you give me the song? My wife, you know the song now. Help, help us now. Come. 
to that song. If you know my story, it is always God. God and God. But I won't bore you with my personal life story. But this particular one that we are celebrating here, you know how the experiences that I had. From the first day the feeler came out that I was an aspirant. Everywhere in River State is EFCC, 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 EFCC. In fact, a few people who are close to me, in fact, my personal aide, who knows where I'm staying, had to park his car very far to come to my house and find to ask. Okay, when they say they don't carry you. So this, this story is not an easy story. But we give God all the glory. Because he remains the only one, when he says it, it will come to be. No man, no woman, no gang up can change it. So glory to God Almighty. But... God will not come down from heaven to perfect his wish. It passes through human beings. And in my own case, right from the time when I was in the Ministry of Finance, it has always passed through one month that I call my ogre. Somehow he let the card out of the bag the other day when he was saying chief of staff. So since he has exposed it, let me also say it. He has been the person who made me the man that I am today. I will continue to give him all the honor. I don't care what you want to say. I don't care how you feel. I don't owe you any apology. I don't even care how you feel that we are going to run the government. Governor, former governor of Ekiti said, said something here. When you don't know where you're coming from, that is when you have problems where you're going to. I know where I'm coming from, and by the special grace of God, with the help of him, I will get to my destination. Today, we have done something that has not happened in this state. Glory to him for his effort and the support of our leader and every one of you that is here. Our story is different. We have joined the League of States that transits from one government to another. It's an achievement that is recorded in his time. So what we need to do on our own side, as the privileged ones, myself, my deputy, the legislative arm that are going to work with us, we're not leaving out the judiciary. We'll work in synergy to ensure that the dignity of this state will be sustained. <laughs> We will continue 
with the development of river states. Not just development, to maintain the standard and quality that we are inheriting. Quality development. Us round development. We won't leave we will not leave any sector out. We are not going to leave those of you who claim you're from here or from there. We are River State. I am the governor of River State. And development will be for River State. So I want to once again say a big thank you to every one of you that has supported us from the beginning to this moment and to assure you that we will not disappoint you. We will not disappoint you. We will ensure that everything that will give River State pride is what we will uphold. We are not going to reduce or re step down the standard. In fact, let me make, it's not a joke, but you always say the shoe, the shoe, the shoe. I have a formula to solve that problem. Since I know it's a long distance, I'm not going to wear a shoe. I will go on barefoot. <laughs> By the time I get <laughs> a do two hours, three hours, my leg will swell. So when I fit it in, it will match. <laughs> so don't worry. Don't worry about that. We already have a way to solve our problem. But this night is to say again, thank you for your support. Pray for my yoga. It's one thing to work very hard. It's another thing to stay and really enjoy the fruit of your labor. He has worked so hard. My prayers is anything, anywhere, that is not of you, God should not allow it to come close to you. Amen. You will live and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Amen. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm your first son. I, did, I came with a speech, but I can't even look at it because that might tell me to decide I don't want. But I think everything that I need to say this night have communicated. River State will remain our focus. Our leaders will continue to be respected, carried along in everything we're doing. More especially, the three wise men, that faithful day, Chief Fede and Abraba, OCJ, Chief OCJ, you don't use the right chief, but now you're a chief. And the other man is not here. Oh, huh. Sergeant, I will say. They are key because when that decision was taken, I know you accused my yoga that is the one and all those things. But it was a collective decision and they were part of it that day. So I want to say thank you for having faith in me and believing in my humility. I'm not going to change. If I wanted to change, I would have changed even when I was a DFA, you know the power of DFA in government house? You know the power of accountant general? I never changed. I believe I will still be that same Fubara that you know, but will not be allowed to be taken for granted while I discharge my <laughs> On the final note, say a special thank you to the transition committee headed by the SS, formal SSG. But this evening, let me give you, you're still the SSG, eh? while you perform your job, your duty. And every other person there who had worked tirelessly to see that this process ended in a very wonderful note. 
God will bless every one of you and we'll meet you at your point of need. Thank you and God bless you all. And gentlemen, we have heard the roadmap for River State, and it is obvious and crystal clear that His Excellency the Governor of River State is divinely ordained. Can we put our hands together for him please? <laughs> Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. His Excellency the Governor will lead members of the high table to the dinner table there while staff of the protocol department of government house will help to direct people to dinner. Bon appétit.